What's up guys, it's Captain Rice Production 72 and I realise that recently I've done a room tour video if you've not seen that, please go check it out obviously in the new room here but I have a lot of shelf space as you can see but obviously I'm going to continue to collect Lego and just for pointing it out this is what it's like if I space it out you can see all the gaps I've left between sets if I bunched all the sets together I could probably make not maybe not double the shelf space but you know I could definitely expand it you know with some smart decisions I just thought you know I'm not going to have it like this for long because I'm going to continue to buy stuff, so I thought I might as well do it this way. But I have looked into expansion because it's not just these that we have in the room. Observe. Over above the TV, we have this shelf with a whole bunch of just little things on it and the Lego DeLorean. And up here, we have the Malevolence as well as a few other things. And on this other side, we have these two shelves here. But I would like to expand even further. So let me show you what I mean by that. So down here, we've got this package from Wix. Now, I already done some expanding upon the original um, shelving I put in. For example, the original shelving I put in was these ones. These are the Wix ones, you can see. These ones here, which is the same as the big one, the second one over the other side, is the Amazon shelves. They're not really the best. They're good, but I wanted to buy the Wix ones because they're just easier to put up. And as being here myself, because um, Terracolor T1's not helping at the moment. He's not here, so we are doing this myself, but... The only alteration I'm making to the design is, um, in this, you're told to use little nails like that to hang up the shelf or put the shelf in the bits that go on the wall. I'm not doing that because it doesn't actually work, but using these nails here, it should be a blast. Let's open up those shelves. So I just need to get a um, box cutter, which is what I'll be using to open up these shelves. So these are the kits if you want to buy them for yourself. Obviously, you don't have to make the alterations I've been making to them, but that is more or less what you get. Your whole, or your screws, your raw plugs, um, all the other stuff that comes with it. It's three of these kits here. So let me show you more or less where I'm planning to put these. So I can, it won't have the best like height wise, but we're going to get another one put there. Kind of above where the malevolence is. And as part of this project, I'm going to have to clear off these shelves. Same with the other ones. Now, the other two shelves, you're probably wondering where I'm planning to put those. Because that's a bit of a unique situation. Well, let me explain. So like I said, one's going there. We're going to take down the imp your Empire and Egypt poster and move it. We're going to have one. Now, I can't have it here because then the door would hit it. So what we're going to do is we're going to have it start here, kind of somewhere, and kind of come out. So that's two of them sorted. Some more idea, we're going to have one that kind of comes in and comes out from here. The, the goal of the buying the more shelves is more or less to maximise my shelf space. And so that I can continue collecting, but also make a somewhat decent display. And these shelves are cheap enough, you know. The shelves are £10 a piece. I bought three of them. I had to pay £7 to get it, a courier to bring it. But, you know, so let's unbox all the shelving stuff. So, like I said, we've got three of these. So, I showed you where I'm planning to put these. Um, bit of a different video for a Lego channel to do. Or maybe it's not. I mean, there's Lego sets in here, so technically it counts. Um, but, yeah, I thought we could have a more fun video to do, like, an expansion to it. I know I probably could have just held off the rim tour, like, a week. But, just due to things like work and stuff, I wanted to get that thing, you know filmed and out plus i was a bit late on it this year compared to you know they've all been july's and i did it in august so i wasn't rolling to hold that off any longer but this will look good plus there's other lego themes other than star wars i do have a liking so i can actually display those so let's get one of these unboxed and see where it goes so the way i'm planning to do this is just one of these at a time so i get it opened and go from there as you can see, we've got the components. So these bits screw into these bits. And then these bits, using the method I told you about, I'm going to basically just drill through the wood because they give you these dainty little nails. As you can see there in the instructions, which are just, it's just the wrong way to do it. They don't go through. I tried it the first time, and then I guess opted to use screws. So let's get them, some of this assembled. At points, I may use a screwdriver, but the main thing I'm going to be using for this project is a drill. That's the first one of these built, so I just need to build the other one and eventually screw them into those using those screws I showed earlier. So let's continue. All right, so we have both these assembled. So I'm gonna bring down, or I have brought down rather, so we need the screws we're gonna be using. So these are thick enough to go through the wood, so let's hope this works. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to go buy some more and this will delay the whole thing. But like I said, these are built, they're all tightened in with the screws and then all these other holes is for going into the wall, so. Let's get this done. I did try the method I used before, but the screws I had bought are not that good. In fact, when I had to go drill them in, this one's fine, but I can't seem to misplace my hands on another one I had. In fact, 
yeah, I can't, but essentially it, the drill was just destroying the heads on the screws and they wouldn't go in. So I've used like all purpose adhesive, which is some of what we did use on one of the shelves. Um, sorry, not one of them, but like we used that on most of the shelves. Um, I was remembering wrong. I thought we had used screws, but I remember now that we actually used adhesive on the other ones, at least other wicked ones, and they've held up just fine. So we'll let this one dry. I'm going to go get the other ones built. Um, the same, it will take me less time now that I know like, a better way of doing it. But essentially, I'll just put the arms should be in a bit more, but you can really just, you know, you can adjust them to however you please. So I'm going to go get the other two built and ready to go. All right, so as you can see, we've got two there assembled. We've got to assemble this final one. I'm going to let them dry for a couple hours. I need to quickly check the, read the packaging on this stuff. It's just what I had lying around. Um, it's a bit gone, so I can't really tell how quick this stuff dries, but I'm going to for a couple hours um, once I've built this one, so I'm going to get back to you once this one's complete. All right, so annoyingly, this first shelf didn't go to plan, but... The adhesive seems to work very like these are good quality shells and they're the more sturdy ones, but what three of those ready, so it's what half past two. I'm gonna come back to this in about an hour, see how well they've dried in. Um and then we're gonna put them up on the wall. So yeah, we'll go from there. I'll see you when we're ready to put them on the wall. Alright, so it is well over an hour later, it's like four o'clock, and these are all dry. Like I was able to put the drill on there, which is heavy, and lift it up by these that glue works miracles so and the drill's gonna be heavier than really any lego model they'll be sitting on these because all the main bigger ones that weigh more you know things like millennium falcon gunships stuff like java's palace will all be on this big shelf it's got like smaller builds these tend to, tend to go on these so yeah so we're gonna get these up in the wall in just a moment i'm just gonna go get the spirit level and get everything ready to go all right, I've got the spirit level, so we're gonna put the first one up. I do actually need to clean everything off of the, all the shelves, just so that there's nothing that could possibly get damaged or ruined on doing this. So let me quickly clear all that. Wasn't really feeling the need to clear off this top one, but the bottom one definitely needed clearing off. Um, so we're gonna put the first one there. So I'm gonna measure, get the spirit level, check everyone's level, use the screws to put it in the wall, and I will show you it once it's on the wall. All right, so I was looking at it so far, um, just got to put in the screws that go on at the sides. Like, it does hang over this one, but I mean, the, the mystery machine primarily sits there, and then we've got, like, the Lego um, mystery mansion and stuff. Like, some sets are going to be permanently on certain shelves, so I have kind of tailored it that way, but I thought this because it's a little bit of space that wasn't being utilised as well as it could be, so that's kind of why I put a shelf here, but let's go those remaining screws in and move on from there. Alright, so all the screws on that one, you can kind of see the other one will kind of come out there as well. Um, so, of course, I'm going to have to remove the poster. And I'm going to kind of have the main part of the shelf kind of start roughly around here. So, let's kind of put that in. So, I think you can now understand where I'm going with this, like what my idea was. Because I'm going to explain, like when I explained the one going up there, everybody understood completely. But when I explained to people... That I was doing one kind of like this. Now those shelves are not meant to be level with each other. It's just kind of where I thought they would look kind of good. I didn't want them to be bang on touching this shelf. So yeah, it means I'm going to have to move sets a certain way. But it opens up a whole lot more space than there was or what I had at the moment. So that's quite good. I just need to put in the screws that go on either side. Because I've got them with that one. Because also I need to, you know, fix it to the wall a bit better. But I'll show you guys... Once that's done, we're going to do the other one, which the other one, sorry, the final one was the one that made the most sense to everyone. Perfect, so that's two of those shelves on, perfectly level. Done all that with the spirit level. So now for the one that's going up here, I'm not going to clear off the DeLorean stuff. That DeLorean? DeLorean. Um, and stuff yet, but I will be redoing some of these shelves to look a bit better. Um, now that I've got a bit more expansive of it. And, Joe, you know I was sitting thinking to myself going... Knowing what I'm like, this will not be the end of expanding this room. I can see myself eventually going and buying, like, something else. Because, you know, this has definitely evolved from one shelf. If you guys have watched the video of me moving on, I go to four. So, there you go. But we're going to add another one up the top of here so it's got all that stuff cleared. So all needs to be done with this shelf because I already got angled up the other one since they're all level. Let's literally just screw it all in. I'll be right back. So, yeah, I'm just going to quickly show you off what we've got done. Um, if I can set my door there. So that one's up, all good. 
I kind of spread out what was on these shelves amongst these three. This is not a permanent thing by any means. Um, if anything, these shelves will become cluttered eventually. I mean, if you follow this channel, you know exactly what I'm like. I'm a compulsive Lego buyer, but got the attack shuttle on that one. Got all this kind of stuff just spread out here nicely. Got the Batman stuff up there. It's a pretty decent shelf from Wix. So like £10 each, cost me £7 to have them shipped. So took, you had to pick the delivery day as well. Um, which is even better about buying these kind of shelves. Um, but, you know, I thought it'd be fun for some room expansion. Yeah, I know the room tour was only, what, a week ago. But, yeah, all good to have this. In fact, funny enough, I talk about compulsively buying Lego. I've got a big package behind me. But, you know, that'll be its own unboxing type video whenever I get around to filming and doing that. But, um, thank you very much for watching. Um, who knows? I mean, I don't think by looking anywhere. Um, you might suggest this wall here, but that door has to be able to open. So, that is that. But anyway, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.